Hello, I'm Eric Valenci, and welcome to Park City, Utah. The temperatures have fallen, but the stars have come out for the Sundance Film Festival. We'll be bringing you all the action on the slopes, off the slopes, the hottest stars, and the hotter parties. And you might want to stay tuned, because when Hollywood goes skiing, you never know what you're going to see. Sundance rolls on. Here we are at the Bing Bar. We're going to try to get an interview with a pretty famous celebrity. I'm going to put my life on the line because he has a very large bouncer. So we caught the set last night. You blew it up the house. How do you like Sundance? Yo, I mean, Sundance is like one of the best parties every year because you can go hang out. You can see actors and actresses that you know and love from young and old. You can get a lot of free stuff. Um, you can go get on the mountain, snowboard, ski, whatever you like, and you can party all night. Like, I mean, it's like the best trip ever. Like, and it's a small town. Like, it's it's cool. Like, it's really, and everybody here is cool. But I get the feeling that anywhere you go is a great party because it just follows you around. You know That's what? That's a good feeling. Like I don't the, have that problem. Yo, man, <laughs> that is the gift and the damn curse. Cause sometimes I'm detoxing. I'm like. I've been drinking for a week, I've been, oh my God. And I go in the club, I'm like, can I just get some water? And they're like, mother, you ain't drinking no water, you drinking a shot, ah, shot, 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 shot. Like shot, shot, shot is gonna be the death of me one day. It's easy to forget, but Sundance is actually supposed to be about the films. We're about to go check out one of the hottest films in the festival, The Ledge. It's gonna be a great time. Congratulations on the film. Yeah, man, it was great. That You know, it's interesting, that was the very same theater that Hustle and Flow premiered in four or five years ago. Do you ever get to see films? Do you get to, to get inspired? No, Sundance is more so looking at the, the looks in the eyes of these um, wannabe writers, wannabe directors, wannabe actors. That's the inspiring thing because it rekindles your love for it. There's it, two really parts to Sundance. There's obviously the commercial part, which right. you have to do to promote the film. Yeah, but yeah. there's this basis of the film labs and, and the idea of fostering independent film. Sure. How do you feel the state of that is? I, look, I, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's the same thing to me. I mean, I, I think it is. I think, um, you know, the Beatles didn't set out to make music just in their basement. Like, you know, you, 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 you have to embrace the commercial aspect of it because you want people to see it. And the movie just really happened and Bobby got on a plane to go make the movie and I, for the first time in my whole life or career, just thought, you know, I'm going to kind of go and just do this. So the guy with no faith discovers it through his willingness to sacrifice himself in the name of love and then the guy with all the faith in the world loses it through rage. So it's kind of an interesting um, dialectic on the... On the, uh, or discourse on the notion of faith and, and non-faith and what truly constitutes ethical behavior. And that's the inside view from Michael Mailer, producer of The Ledge. Sometimes independent film is a leap of faith. We're here with legendary film critic. <laughs> Where is he? Elvis Mitchell. It's time to get... Legendary is never good. <laughs> it's time to get Ask serious. Ask Eminem. Legendary is never good. <laughs> It's time to get serious about film. Uh, what are your impressions of Sundance this year? Oh, well, my impressions are always the same. You always think you're hoping to be surprised by some fun stuff. And, and, and I just saw the, this great Harry Belafonte documentary. And you're someone who has a love of film, and there's so much pomp and circumstance going on. There's but there's not pomp and circumstance. I mean, the great thing is we're right down the street from Slam Dance, which is still the antidote to this kind of stuff. You want to go in, see a movie, and the great thing about Slam Dance, you can often walk up and still get tickets for stuff. It's it's still the 180 of this. And the thing is, there's so many different kinds of films that you can go to, to, to uh, next or you can go to the midnight movies, which I always love to do, because that's when the real crazy people come out, and the fan, people who are real fans of genre film come out. So I think that what people think is that this is just one big festival where the movie stars who are slumming do their movie between like uh, their big movies and, and seasons of the TV shows, but it's not just big stars here. And there's one impression that I'd like to see corrected about this festival, it's that. Now, there's been all sorts of conversations about Sundance and swag. Well, we're here to report on Sundance. We're not going to participate in all that getting gift bags, all that stuff. 
Next up, though, we're going to go head over to the Burton House uh, just because we like the people. We want to see what they're up to. Now, Sundance has the benefit of being one of the most beautiful skiers anywhere in the country. Utah snow, of course, is world famous. Europeans, though, will sometimes sneer at the food. Not anymore. We're here at the J&G Grill. Quite the spread we have in front of us. And let me tell you something. I'm not going to tell you I'm working hard. I'm hardly working. Well, let me introduce these guys. This is uh, Jim Whitaker. Jim, of course, is the first American to climb Mount Everest in 1963, and his son Leif, My son Leif. Uh, who followed in his father's footsteps this year and summited Mount Everest also. And fathers and sons can sometimes have, you know, they can take some digs at each other. <laughs> I know that Everest was actually taller now than when you climbed it, right? <laughs> A technicality, but yes, it was slightly taller. Seven and, feet uh, higher, I can't believe it. I'm, Seven I'm feet just higher. slightly taller <laughs> now anyway, so. That's because you have more hair. <laughs> What happens when a small, innocent town in Utah is invaded by Hollywood? Well, they have a word for it. It's called Sundance. We saw the sights and sounds. Hollywood is intact. Mittens are coming back. Hope you had fun. I'm Eric Valencia for the Huffington Post. See you next time.